but we've got Andrew here as well. Andrew asked to come on. Hey, Andrew. How are you doing, mate? Hey. Yeah, good. How are you? Yeah, hello. Doing fine, man. Doing perfectly fine. It's pretty hot in here, but... This should Coming be for a treat. Game. Okay, so I didn't leave uh, the correct game, so we are casting uh, Orb versus uh, Moots, I suppose, right? So you're here, guys. Crashing. Sorry, I was uh, looking at chat at the same time. Um, this nipples is Moots, right? Yeah. yeah. I've never should, seen should Moots be, play, be, actually. Yeah. So I'm curious about his play style uh, against Orb. And I yeah, Orp is I solid. know that Moots is the inventor of uh, the infamous uh, fake power plant spam in your in your face. <laughs> oh, Which, I haven't even seen that. Yeah, actually, actually, I think uh, who cares and popularized it uh, afterwards. But uh, I heard that Moots uh, used it first. Interesting. Interesting. Right, so Moots is going for double ref and Orp. Orp is, is actually a real fan of War Factory first. I rarely see him go uh, double ref actually. Well, he did it a bit weird this time. Um, he actually built the refinery before the uh, the racks. Oh, he did? Yeah. I'm not 100%. Like, that's why he's so late to get to the top left. Oh yeah, you're right. But, I wonder um, why, because there actually there's no real benefit to it, right? Well, except maybe for your eco, you get one more loading, I guess, from your harvester. Yeah, technically. But to be honest, I don't see much of the point in um, trying to commit to the early game in this, because this engineer has got to get all the way up around to the other one now, and he's gonna build a ranger. Actually, maybe it's a harvester this time. Pretty slow. Wow. Yeah. He's He's been, like, going for a lot of early aggressive stuff, Orb, though, when he plays allies. I've seen a lot of light tanks, and I've seen a few rangers. True. But I'm not sure Moods is aware of that, because Moods is not playing that much, is he? Uh, he plays a bit, but it's mainly team games, to be honest. Hmm. On the ore gardens. Oh yeah, ore gardens. Oh my god, I've never played that map, to be honest. And he's also in, um, Raggle Season 9. In Minions. I think he's doing pretty well, actually. He's only dropped two games out of 14. That's not bad. Yeah, Orb's not doing much with this ranger. He's picking up some infantry, but he's not careful. Right. Hey, Mega Tank, how you doing, man? Already have an account, miss you, buddy. Miss you too, man. Glad to have you back. Moose actually has two uh, oil rigs, though. Yeah, he managed to get it. That'd be good for him. I don't, I don't see those going down for a little while. No, me neither. Like, I'm not sure what we're going to do with this. But I'm guessing he's gonna get. Well, I was thinking he was gonna get a very early MCV, but compared to Moots, it's only 20 seconds. Yeah, he's on six harvesters. Although I think, yeah, he built three refineries. Yeah. Oof. All right. So I guess we have launched almost everything. I, I don't see Moby versus Hextix playing, but otherwise should be good. That's good to hear. So what's happening in the game? So what do you say? Uh, what's happening here in the game? I guess nothing much. Oh, yet. well, nothing much so far. Orb did some weir weird build orders, and... Well, he has his early MCV, but... Nothing's happened so far, to be honest. 
He might try and destroy the oil now. Yeah. Well, we did get some uh, some infantry kills with the ranger though. Fifteen. But besides that, nothing much has happened so far. I just didn't try and capture himself. It's fair enough. Yeah, that's actually not too bad, since he has the expansion close to it as well. Oh, he's transferring over three harvesters. Or two. Hmm, I'm not sure about this attack from uh, Moot. I don't think it's gonna do that well compared to Orb's attack here. Actually, only got a power plant so far. Yeah, but he will. He okay. gets a base. Yeah. Okay. This is bad. Like, nothing from Moots is coming over to actually clean it up. So he's gonna pretty much lose everything, I think. Maybe his service depot. He might get it, depends on how that war truck performs. But yeah, he's gonna uh, get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a major That's setback, to be honest. Hmm. Not too bad. And now there's nothing over here for Moose to defend. But yeah, Orb doesn't have a lot of rockets over here. That was a bit of a wasted army. It's only single matches, right? So it's no best of three. No, it's actually best of three. Oh, it, it is. Should oh. be at least, at least if it didn't change to any snails, but uh, I suppose it didn't. Okay. So it's best of three. So what do you guys think so far about the match? Uh, looks like... <laughs> Moots is I mean, in, in, in a pile of shit here. Yeah, if I'm looking at the, the army graph, the most important graph in the game, uh, Orb is three times ahead in assets. So yeah. I'm not feeling very confident for Moots here. I'm well, not 100% sure what he did wrong. Um, economy is fine, but... Just doesn't have any army to withstand the this push that will be going right now. I think the only thing that I can see so far is Moots didn't use his entire army to attack Orb's main. And so Orb was able to hold that off while Orb bring his entire army. And he did some quite some damage to uh, Moots main. And he also Moots also didn't bring back any army to defend. Whoa. There's a uh, he had he had three tanks coming in to attack when uh, Moods was attacking with one tank and one tank was spawning, so Orb was ahead in vehicle production. Yeah, true. It's mainly I'm probably sorry. because of the early war factory, I guess, compared to... Oh. I'm wondering if he Battle control forgot production at some point. Battle control initialized. Right, so game started? Yep. Beautiful map. Yeah, I like Shadow Fiend as well. And still, even though I like it, I usually lose on this map. Yeah, it's a bit of a double edged sword. What would you guys do to like uh, defend your main ore patch on this map? 
Like, would you just keep scouts there and then move your army if necessary, or would you put a lot of static defenses there? Preemptively. Like, I, around mid game. I usually don't bother. So, uh, my natural progression is uh, you move out the MCV that you've built, chuck the ref on that patch and then move north and chuck another ref and then move your main construction yard over to the right and if you start doing that usually they don't care about attacking your main because you you're taking over their um their ore i feel like being aggressive on this oh. map is better than being defensive because there's lots of ways that you can be attacked yeah so like you'll end up putting too much money into the wrong area is what I often find. Plus, you, if you really want to defend that patch, you kind of need the defense structures to be on the other side of the um, the ore. Yeah. Which is not really possible sometimes. Last time what I did was, usually between my two riffs, if I'm going double riff, um, I, I had like two pillboxes sitting there, and then I got like eco arrest. But yeah, yeah, then I had another pillbox ready to place down, so three pillbox against the blob was pretty decent. <laughs> and they were all stacked up, and yeah, I didn't know pillbox did that much splash damage, but... Uh, one other option on this map is that uh, after your service depot, you actually can skip uh, the MCV and have it uh, quite late. And just uh, move out your original MCV to... For example, where uh, Mutz has uh, his barracks, so slightly above that. So in that spot you can reach uh, the natural war field as well as uh, co still cover your base with defenses. Oh, yeah. I think you, you, you just get the, the whole uh, the whole area with a single uh, conyard. I think Pinktop did that against me a couple of days ago. Yeah, so what it gets you is that you can uh, put a lot of aggression uh, early on and then uh, also continuing to put that while you don't need to um, you don't need to expand actually and you can instead build more army uh, but at the expense that you only have uh, a single MCV and thus uh, you will be a little bit vulnerable uh, from like multiple attacks uh, sides and also at the same time you'll need to be uh, overly aggressive and proactive to block uh, your opponent's uh, expansion uh, options early because uh, if he will have uh, more MCVs and obviously he will have more MCVs than you then uh, he'll be able to get both patches uh, top left oh and God. bottom right is this engineer gonna get out? Yeah, Moose's <laughs> engineer is gonna get out. Wow. Yeah, and I guess... I don't that... think this ranger can no. win. No. Yeah, he'll just uh, leave. I don't know why he keeps trying to take on... infantry that he can't take on with the ranger. Uh, he did, uh, I think he just drove by because he didn't see it uh, initially, he was elsewhere. And then he looked at uh, five rifles and just drove by and uh, rerouted his uh, engineer to the right. Let's get the cap. <laughs> nice. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, so, so far this game is looking a little bit better for Moots than the last one. Definitely. Although he has an idle MCV though. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. He has three oils as well. For now. Orb's gonna just run around with that ranger and that one engineer all game. Also, for whatever reason, Orb, I guess he will try to base push or something because his MCV placement is just a little bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. Or probably he just wants to to block the middle. 
prevent any movements through the middle. Yeah, now the engineer is going back, uh, bottom right, for orb. Yeah, yeah, now it's free to cap. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Certainly should not go into that. Okay, so what's uh, the number? So Warp is 1k ahead. So yeah. Still, if he still. if he stopped when you guys said he should not go in, then he was about equal. But that last mm -hmm. last push was way too much. And that second engineer got gets caught. Yeah. Meanwhile, Orp also retook all oils. He's on four oils right now. Yeah, and actually, you can see Orp's uh, MCB position on the right. So he has control of the bottom Orp patch as well as his natural. So he has uh, base provider at both spots and also in the middle as well. Mm. Pretty smart. Yeah, he's going for the main. Ooh, a couple of turrets there. Looks like I'm uh, casting myself. <laughs> Although Moots is a lot better. But his eco is gonna be in trouble though. Okay, he's expanding over there. Leaves everything and his army doesn't move in. Ah, uh, yeah, that's also service depot lost. And maybe mm -hmm. war factor as well. Probably. Mm -hmm. And his low power. Oh, it could be a good engagement. Moots doesn't lose anything. He has 8 barracks, so I guess he is okay to sell some of them. And also a refinery. Bottom one. So he'll if be we can, not slow power. If we can deal with this army that's coming towards his natural right now, yeah, he has a chance. But I'm not 100 percent sure he can deal with this. No. If he if he does win this, this is crucial. But Orb's also on double war factory. Also, he doesn't have a base radius, sir. So it's just raw army against army. That's and I also don't like Moots primary barracks point, which is at his uh, home base, and also our passive theories, which is yeah, slightly also has a tech center as well. Yeah. Too much for Moots here. <laughs> also, we have Tanya for Orb as well. Ready? So it's yep. attack. Tier 3. Tier 1 versus tier 3. Oh, I agree, Kazu. I wish uh, Moods won as well. Because 
I would rather play Moose than Orb, to be honest. <laughs> yes, you have personal stake at this game. Yep. So, what about us? It's actually Orb is sent in key ahead. Yeah. The numbers of Harvesters is actually even, but, well, Orb is tier 3, while Moose is only... doesn't even have a Raider Dome, so... Uh, coming uh, Blackhawks and it will be over. Yep. Oh, it, it will be already over right now. Because... Tanya down. Well, Tanya didn't do anything. Alright. There is a rogue spy in the middle of uh, Orb's uh, army. Yeah, and Orb. Oh, yes, yeah. Orb. Orb felt that there is a low power situation for Moots because he's just singling out uh, all the power plants. Moots going for a push on the main, but yeah, Tanya's there. It's not looking good at all. Go light tanks. Unfortunate for moods. Well, I had a feeling this would happen, but. I'm gonna be up against Orp. Great.